pia tutaki mambo relief sababu tunatosha kulisha watoto wetu familia yetu The main source of livelihood of, um, in the drylands is livestock production, extensive livestock production, uh, which some people will also refer to as pastoralism. At the sun rises in Kenya's Isiolo County, local livestock herders are getting ready to face another day. Life out here is tough and full of uncertainty as the herders grapple with shrinking pasture and the impacts of a changing climate. Arid and semi-arid regions have a highly variable climate. In Isiolo County, communities have to continuously contend with droughts or floods, making the need to adapt critical. When droughts hit, the wipeout herds of cattle and herders are looking for ways to cope with the harsh climatic conditions in the area. To help the herders adapt, researchers with ASAR are working on a project that explores various ways of survival based on a customary resource management. In ASA project, uh, we are mainly looking at how uh, the pastoral communities are affected by climate change and how they are responding to um, these uh, changes that only, not only include uh, climate variability and change, uh, but also other socioeconomic and um, environmental uh, changes. Through research and participatory scenario analysis workshops with the communities, researchers established that more sustainable pasture management can help people living in the dry lands adapt to the changing environment. So among the list of the very many list that options that they have for addressing this problem, they again prioritized uh, uh, two that they thought were very, very uh, key, the topmost. And um, this was mainly um, the approach of partitioning the grazing land or zoning the grazing land into different areas that could be used or can be used at different times of the year. Uh, data to look at my babuze to talk as a man like on a data. The big uh, uh, thing here is data. Data is a traditional institution uh, which guides or, or is mandated by the local uh, Boran pastoralists for the purpose of natural resource management. Uh, this uh, uh, traditional institution normally uh, uh, arranges or develops a grazing pattern which guides communities' access to pasture and water. Wakati tuliyawacha deda, alabu tulikuwa tumemekua maskini ngombe na kufa, si tulikuwa maskini zaidi. Tukifata hii maneno hii, sasa deda kukurudi, after makakumi ngawa si tumetajirika, wakati sabo ngombe ya bana kufanga, majani, tele, Wa katika hii dada majukumu wa kina mama huwa inakuanga mingi sana zaidi wa baba. Hii wazee wa dada wakikaa kwa kivuli wakizungumza maneno ya yani ngombe ama mifugo mali iko huwa wa mama hawasemangi na mdomo. Tunakimbilia. Huwa tunahudhuria na macho yetu traditional system of data has clearly defined land and, and planned it according to three different uh, uh, grazing zones, grazing zones units and there is one specific we call wet season which they call wet season grazing area. That is an area which is largely vast 
it has very short-lived and very nutritious pasture and pastoralists normally go in time, of, in time when there is subsurface water. And then there is a specific uh, uh, dry season grazing area where, where the pastoralists uh, through their traditional system move to when the pasture in the wet season grazing areas get now drier and also the water, subsurface waters have all dried up. They move to ponds, they move to uh, shallow wells where areas they can, they, they can use those shallow wells and, and, and ponds to access pasture within the dry season grazing area. There is a specific area they have preserved for the time of drought and they call it the drought reserves. And within their traditional planning system, it's very clear, it's areas which have uh, long standing pastures, areas with permanent water sources like uh, boreholes, like even uh, springs, areas which they access, when, uh, they access when they are really in need of pasture and they are normally reserved for time of drought. <laughs> ASAR has been facilitating peer-to-peer -peer learning to equip herders with skills to manage pasture and learn about camel rearing. The herders learn from other communities in the county who are already into camel keeping. The second most uh, preferred uh, um, scenario or option for addressing the problem um, was changing of the herd composition because um, what we have realized is that the pastoral landscape is mainly shifting from grassland to a sort of um, um, woody vegetation dominated kind of uh, grazing land. So the browsers uh, and these are animals who, who feed on the trees and shrubs would be more favored by that kind of um, environment as compared to the grazers who rely mainly on the, on the grass. So the shift uh, towards keeping more of the browsers, and this I mean goats and camel, is something that they also uh, favored. Training of the camel keeping to communities which are within Isiolo and outside Isiolo, first the benefit is that uh, a camel due to climate change is uh, being adopted by many who have not been keeping the camels. In particular, like Isiolo, we have uh, the larger Boran communities, which are Keto ranching communities, Keto keeping communities, who are now, due to climate change, uh, which has affected them, losing a lot of, uh, in each drought, losing a lot of cattle, are now coming to be introduced to camel skipping because it will withstand those, uh, those droughts. <laughs> kidogo <laughs> Kunagami <laughs> Ufugaji ni moja, lakini kile wameshinda sisi nae ni e, kui, kui, kuitunza mfugo yao na ikupata mapato kutoka ngamia. Ile ufugaji biashara. The herders are being trained on growing grass for their animals. This will increase their resilience and minimize the need to move their animals in search of pasture. What we have focused on all along is pasture scarcity. Mfuko ikia thirika zaidi, eh, kuna wakati huwa tunanuli, eh, serikali inanunua, inapeleka kwa, kwa wakulima. Kwa sababu hii kitu tukifata, mali ya ukame, kwa angamia mali yetu, nafukiri taisha. Kwa sababu hile tuliona kufile na banu wa nyasi. The, ch the challenge is getting the seed. That is the challenge is to find the seed because even Kenya seed 
right now have no grass seed in stock, nothing. For the herders, shifting to the death system and increased camel and goat rearing will be a long journey. This is just the beginning. Wale ambawa bana jua leza ni nini akuje afunzi sisi tuelezi hawa tumejifunza mengi. Yaani ukitembea kutembea mengi ndio huona mengi. Sasa mimi nikitoka hapa nitabadilisha ngamia kwa kwa ngombe kwa ngamia. Mbuzi nyo mbuzi kwa kondoo. Kwa maana hiyo ndo inaweza dumu siku ya jilali.